Hello, I'm Karen and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make my tortoise. I know other people have made tortoise but I just thought I'd share with you how to make mine. Um, I've actually got two here. Um, okay, so um, the tortoises are obviously made in sections so you're going to need um, a needle, you're going to need, um, I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook, um, we're going to need some scissors and we're going to need some stuffing and um so what we're going to do is we're going to begin with the beginning section of um the tortoise so what you're going to need to do to start off with is make um pentagons and these ones are curved pentagons so if you can see that it's like a curved shape okay and we need to make six of those so i'm going to share with you how to get going to do the first pentagon so i'm beginning with um a magic circle and we're going to do a chain one just to start off with just to, and pull that loop smaller so it's easy to work with and then we're going to do a chain do two more chains so you start off with a chain of three okay and then you're going to do it's the double crochet if you're in the US and it's a treble crochet if you're in the UK chain one and then work two more of the double crochet or treble crochet stitches it's the same stitch all the way through chain one and make two more there <clears throat> and chain one oops and make another two whoops there so how many have I got I've got one two three four chain one make two more because a pentagon has five sides and then we're going to do a chain one and then you're going to slip stitch to join and that's where you're going to change over with your new color so i'm just going to get my new color and we're going to slip stitch to join in the top of the third chain um, to be able to join okay and on this pattern we don't need to worry about our tail ends because we're not sewing in any of the tail ends whatsoever just pulling all those bits tight and i'm just going to just cut off the white yarn so that's out of my way so and then what we're going to do is we're going to oh actually i did that wrong didn't i <laughs> we want to slip stitch to join first with the white and then we're going to change, change colour in the next stitch. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch with the next colour there and slip stitch into the chain one space. Then make a chain of three and work a double crochet or triple crochet, chain one and work two more into this same chain one space. And then <clears throat> excuse me and then we're going to do two of the stitches chain one and two into oh that's got stuck oh <laughs> not doing very well today we've had power cuts and everything it's been a really strange day and then two more there and then into the next chain one space we're going to work two stitches chain one and work two more stitches like that and you can see as we're doing this round this is where you get the nice shapes of this of the straight edges of the sides of your actual pentagons okay so i'm just going to just finish doing just this, this one um, this colour I'm not going to do the third colour I don't think because it's just the same um, <clears throat> maybe I should just do one row in case somebody's brand new and they've never actually made a pentagon before so I'll do this edge here like that and then we're going to slip stitch to join into the top of the third chain then you get your third colour and on mine I'm using a green I'm going to slip stitch the new colour into place with there and then slip stitch into the actual 
point of the pentagon and we're going to start again so it's chain three we'll work two stitches um so we, well sorry do you do one stitch and then work two chain one and work two more i've got my yarn stuck there <clears throat> and because we're going on to this side section we're going to be working in between these two posts of the there and we would work two stitches into there and then we're going to go back to a corner section where we actually work two stitches a chain one and two stitches okay whoops <laughs> my yarn's really tight today and the second stitch there so you're just going to just complete that and just going to keep, do that all the way around until you actually have made yourself your first pentagon okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to just undo that green because i'm going to use that again in a minute um, and just cut off that pink okay so what you need to do is you need to make yourself six of these okay um to start off with and then what you're going to do after that is i'm just going to put that one out of the way you need to make yourself a hexagon so a hexagon has got six sides so we're going to do the magic circle if you can't do the magic circle do a chain two and work into the first chain um so, so we, we need a chain of three so if you was going to just do it with the with the chains you'd actually do a chain of four then do the um double crochet or treble crochet depending where you're from chain one work two more stitches so that's one and two chain one work two more stitches there chain one and two more stitches chain one and how many have we got one two three four so remember we need to have five um five we don't <laughs> we need five for the pentagon and six for the hexagon so we've got five there and now we need to just do two more because these are all done in the two post granny pattern and then we're doing a chain one and slip stitch into the um, top of the third chain to join and it's just the same as the pentagon but now you're just going to just be doing it there's going to be six sides to this one when you do it so let's get the pink into place and then we do a chain of three and work one double crochet or treble crochet and then chain one and work two stitches into that same space then to the next chain one space we're going to work two stitches a chain one and two more stitches into there <coughs> And then we're going to go into this chain one space and we're just going to be working the two stitches chain one and two stitches um i want another stitch in there and you can see that that's also creating the actual straight sides of the edge of the hexagon okay so um so you're just going to just complete this just the same as the actual pentagons and you're going to need to make yourself one hexagon um, for this one um, for this section anyway um, in the actual different colors okay so i'm just going to just make sure i've got to the end of this round just so that you can actually see that we've actually got the hexagon shape there and there is the final corner chain one and two stitches into there and then you're going to slip stitch to join in the third chain and then you'll change over your color to your final color when you get to your final color of your hexagon you don't fasten off the yarn okay so then what you're going to do is you're going to have all of your pieces I'm going to suggest that what you would do is you get as you you tie your, your ends in knots okay just so there you don't need to cut off all the ends of your yarn because you can use that as part of the stuffing 
so this is the actual hexagon that I've got and I've got to the very end of there so I'm just going to just pick this up and then show you how to actually join so you slip stitch to the actual next stitch and then we're going to go into what is effectively the point and that's where you're going to sandwich them together so you're going to go point to point like that which is a bit like when I did my um, hexagon cushion I've lost the tail end <laughs> um, okay so you're going to just slip stitch that together and then you're going to do a chain of two and then slip stitch through in between the posts there and in between to where you've got the actual proper gaps and then just do a slip stitch to join and go one two then in between the gaps there and in between the matching gaps on the pentagon and then one two then we're going to get to a corner we're going to slip stitch into the corner and then we're going to do a chain one let me just get the other one and then you're going to where's the tail end gone so then you're going to go back into that same corner of the one you've already worked and then go into a corner of your next pentagon okay and you're going to do chain two and then we're going to keep on slip stitching and we're going to do those until we've got all of the um, pentagons attached okay so um, I'll join you when I get to that point okay so I'm um, right near the end so I'm going to just do my last chain two and I'm going to slip stitch into the um, corner where I've already worked and into the corner of this one do that slip stitch and then I'm just going to do one more chain one and slip stitch back into that same space to finish off that area there and then I'm going to cut off she says <laughs> I'm going to cut off the yarn and just pull that through and then you pull the tail end through the middle of your work make sure that you've pulled all of your center tail ends um, nice and tight and then you'll have a piece that looks like this um, sort of like a strange curved little flower and then what you're going to do is you're going to begin on um, I just begin with a twist on my hook I'm going to then we're going to join these up so we're going to go into the corner and into the co matching corner of the pentagon on the other side there and whoops daisy and then slip stitch that into place chain two and then match them up there chain two and slip stitch through the corresponding bits there and chain two and i'm going to do one into the corner bits there okay and then i'm going to cut off the yarn pull that through and then you're going to make sure this is tight go through the corner pull your tail end through so it's to the back of your work and this tail end as well is going to go through this corner here pull that through so all of your tail ends are going to be on this side of your work Okay, so I'm going to just do the rest of it and then I'll join you again. Hang on. Okay, so I've completed mine. So it looks like this when you've actually completed it. So you've got these all these little indents. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make yourself another hexagon. Um, just all in one colour. And this one is, um, you need to make it till you've, you've got seven um, rounds okay so when you count it you've got one two three four five six seven as you do it like that okay and then what you're going to do with this one is you're going to um it kind of do the, just the same as what you've been doing to this bit don't worry about all of your tail ends just get this and you're just going to go into the corner and then into the corner of a pentagon and you're going to slip stitch that into place and then you're going to do a chain two and then do through the front and match up the corresponding piece at the back chain two go between the two posts there and the corresponding ones at the back and it's chain two this is a bit where it's a little bit awkward so now you need to make sure you go into the front but then you're going into the very corner of one of your pentagons and you're going to chain two through this front one here and then you're going to go into the corner position of the next pentagon and it's chain two through the front 
through the matching one at the back Woo. chain two through the front through the matching piece at the back chain two and then you're going to get to your corner so you can and then that should match up with your pentagon corner slip stitch chain one and then slip stitch back into the same space and then continue all the way around until you've got one bit left to be able to stuff and i'll be there in a minute okay so now i'm back and so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to just push all of the so we need to make sure i keep the loop to one end push all the tail ends in so that they're all inside it and it'll look like that okay and then you're just going to get your stuff in um, unless you've got lots of tail ends that you can use and you're going to just stuff your stuffing in and get it all in <laughs> um, okay and you're going to push this right the way down into the corners and you do need quite a bit of stuffing to be fair with this one or say or you can just use lots and lots of tail ends if you've got loads of tail ends but for the sake of the video it's quicker and easier for me to um, use the stuffing and then I just want some more at this front bit oh, there and so I want to make sure that it's quite bulging at this section here because um, I want it when I want to fold it to do that last bit we want to make sure that it's really nice and jam-packed we want it to be in really good um, stuffed tortoise okay so let's just get this bit this bit might be a bit awkward for me to do on the camera but we'll see so we're going to do chain two slip stitch through the front slip stitch through the matching matching bit there chain two through that one there and into there chain two this one is a really fat stuffed one. <laughs> oh dear and then into there chain two and then remember we're going to match up with the matching corner of this one here just double check that yeah chain two and into this one there chain two and into there and chain two and into this final corner and do a chain one and one stitch to finish off and then pull that through um, so that's actually a very overly stuffed one if I'm honest but um, that's not that's actually quite nice no I'm happy with that cut off your yarn and then all you need to do is you just need to just get your hook put your hook in anywhere you want go right up to that corner pick up this tail end and just pull this inside your work just so that you're going to pull it in so that's all nice and tidy out of the way there oops and just not managed to catch that bit have I one more little bit okay so wiggle that so it's not stuck onto the onto the there so that's what your first piece and it's just going to leave you with these little pointed bits at the edge which we need to have those because that's part of the way that the tortoise works okay um and you can just manipulate it a little bit just to make sure it's nice so what we've got so that's going to be that's the end of this one so even if you don't want to finish it off and make it into a tortoise you have actually got yourself a lovely hexagon um and pentagon combination of a cushion okay so in the next video i'm going to be sharing with you how to make the head and the tail and we're going to need some um